You know they say that nothing tastes better than food that you hunted for or money that you stole. You know, I'm talking about in the twisted world of right. the neighborhood. You know, <laughs> all that stuff there. Well, the way I saw Mean Streets, we had snuck, we snuck into the movie. And we went in part one. We had no idea what we were seeing. I was walking down past Bloomingdale's, and I look up at the marquee, and they got this movie called Mean Streets. I said, wow, that's the movie. So I went in and I seen it. I came out of the movie, and I said, wow, they did a movie, but that's that. That's De Niro. You know, that, that's that's what I know because he was the only character that I really knew personally in the film. I didn't know uh, Harvey Keitel. I didn't know the other guy, but him I knew. And I says, I'm not convinced. That's 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 the Bobby that I know. When I met people later on in life, and and they mentioned Mean Street, they looked at it like it was some incredible piece of cinema. And I mean, and um, we thought it was a, a great comedy. Mm. We thought it was a funny movie. It was like a comedy to us. Right. You know, it, it made us laugh. It didn't, we didn't see it in any other light, like in terms of cinema, movie, or, or verite, or whatever the fuck they call it, you know. To us, it was like watching a home movie. Because and we that was laughing. a way of life that we yeah. knew. I mean, we, we, we knew everybody in the, every, that, those characters were in everybody's neighborhood. Do you know University showed that film yeah. to depict you know, a, like a segment of society, like a random uh, yeah. sampling of a culture. Italian American. You understand a culture that doesn't exist anywhere else. So in that context, if I was an outsider, I could appreciate what they're seeing. Yeah. But like you looking at it, you're saying, well, what the hell is that? That's Bobby De Niro running around with his antics, getting in trouble all the time. Every one of the remaining American communities, which even then they were dying off, right? But Boston, New York, Philadelphia, like that, Chicago, I'm sure. The Italian pockets that did exist though, everybody thought this was about their neighborhood. I mean, there were such similarities between no. these characters, you know, I'm sure, you know. But good luck finding a neighborhood like that now. They don't oh, exist. no, no. They don't exist. This is what I call a shower sandwich. You know, you gotta take a fucking shower after you eat it. I just want one that'll stay in the bread. See, the bread can't be too hot, because if you bite it, it all shoots out and hits the people at the next fucking table. You know?